welcome back to good news life update thank you for joining us stay tuned as we present this important information coming from the grant community admin Elise, together with i am a michael coming out to tell us the situation in the grant space we all know i mean Elise, he's one of the key player in the grant space was working with apostle king wakama together with uh reverend wakachuku uh, along the line he he was having issue with uh, Mwagachuku because of the uh, support that Mwagachuku was presenting to the masses all the time. And there was a, an issue of money. He's out to clear the air on that. He went on to talk about the issue of mandate if Apostle Ken is still with the mandate of this Boston UAAG grant. Thank you for joining Gunia's Life Update as we are ready and committed to update you on the situation in the grant space. Pay attention to admin Elise, together with Ayama Michael as they expose certain things to the grant space and about disbursement. They've also talked about it here in this video. Consider to subscribe and turn on the bell as we are ready to update you. Pay attention. This is the chat show, Hot Seat Special. I got my protege, my man, I call him the legendary one, the special guest on the hot seat today. We just have to do it off the Telegram platform. I do it specially today, yo. I got uh, the privilege to introduce my protege, uh, my big friend in the grants community for a long time, and uh, uh, nobody has seen him in the hot on the hot seat. So he's the uh, one and only. I call everybody that is popular that have made an impact in the grants community. Legend. So he's the legendary admin. Alice. I mean, Alice, you're welcome to the hot seat, sir. Uh, well, Michael, uh, I don't see it as a hot seat, uh, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, All right. uh, the interview. Okay. No problem, everybody. All right. Let me hit you with the first question, Admin Alice. A lot of people have been uh, yelling to see you on the hot seat. Thank God you're here today. Uh, what do you have to say about the international community saga, sir? Oh, wow. Well, the international community uh, is a long story, which uh, everybody that knows about. Uh, we've had different clarification coming from the likes of uh, Reverend Support uh, and also from the side of uh, all Grand Pressure Group. So it's not, it's not a new thing. It's, it's, it's an old and outdated story, which everybody knows. Yeah, uh, you talked about it uh, being outdated, but uh, Reverend Waga Triple came with a VN, you know, talking about it, and uh, that thing has been in his mind because they called him a scammer, and uh, he has made a series of VN to clarify that. And uh, there's a VN by uh, uh, Ajayi Adegoke, I believe you know him in the Grants community. He talked about uh, Ken, you know, setting up the international community stuff. What do you have to say about it? Well, you see, Michael, uh, when I speak uh, in the grand ecosystem, uh, I speak with boldness simply because uh, everything I say, I have proof, if not proofs. I have proof to back myself up because of eventualities, okay? Mm. Uh, I wouldn't want to say things to please the masses simply because they want to hear these things or they want, to, uh, they want somebody that uh, tells these lines of stories. I, would, I wouldn't want to do that. Anything you see me say or have said in the past, I have proofs. If not, I have proof, if not proofs, for them. Uh, now, uh, somebody saying uh, um, Apostle Ken set up the international community. Well, the person may come forward to give us the proofs because I am not in the know of it. Okay, I, I am in the know of it. And moreover, I wasn't part of the international community. I wasn't uh, in in that group. So anybody that is setting up anything, I, I, I don't have an idea about that. I don't know about that. All right. This is uh, still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. And uh, this is me, myself, and I, the electrifying Heat Man. I got a special guest on the hot seat. He said he doesn't like it. Uh, he doesn't feel it's a hot seat. All right. <clears throat> I got my man and only the legendary admin, Ellis. All right, admin, Ellis, you talk about you're not in the picture of the international community. I just have to bring this up based on the current, uh, you know, series of VN from uh, Reverend Wagachuku, because he talked about uh, you coming out to betray him. 
uh, EDC is not on the good page with you. You should know what, what is happening. So what is the beef between you and Reverend Wagachuku? Uh, well, you see, uh, I prefer calling it, calling uh, using the time Reverend support. Uh, you see, uh, <laughs> yeah. The reverent support of a man is, um, uh, you know, I've been waiting from the time of his uh, last VN, or let me say second to the last VN, where he called on people to come support his legal actions against uh, the people that have uh, smeared his reputation and all that and all that. Uh, I I even listened, or was it or not? I don't, I don't think it was a voice note. I think it was a write up from his huge, uh, that's his errant boy, uh, where he says stuff about Admin Nellis, but I kept my cool because I was waiting for the legal action. And I have waited and waited, and none is coming. Uh, I would have loved it if he had taken that move. At least that would have been a move that would nail everything. But unfortunately for me, it never came. Now, I, I have no beef with anybody whatsoever, except the person sees it as a beef. Then, that's good for the person. For me, I say what's on my mind, and I don't have time to edit. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, now, it, it all started when, you know, we were working together, and uh, there was this time we met with Apostle Ken, and uh, this is the first time I'm saying this live on air or to the hearing of everybody. And uh, Apostle Ken gave me the data of all the NGOs because there were so many dupli duplicates and duplications of the NGOs here and there. And I told him, I can help you, you know, sieve out the duplicates and you just have original, just on one NGO, uh, NGO on, on, on your list or your ledger. And he gave me a copy of it. It took me, it took me, I think, either two or three days to, you know, use different parameters to weed out double uh, duplicated NGOs. Now, in the process of that, I, you know, uh, Reverend came and was like, okay, I should help him put in one NGO. Uh, and I told him, see, I, I don't have, I don't work this way. I have principles and I do as much as possible to uh, follow my principles. If you want me to include this one NGO, call up Pastor Ken and tell him to, to give me the, to order me to put it for you. And he said, okay, I should leave it, I should leave it. And then later on, he came to my room and insisted. I told him, see, I, I won't do this. That was where the deal started. I told him, I, if there are two options. It's either you tell up Pastor Ken to, you know, ask me to put it, or you wait. When I submit this to him, then you tell him to put it for you. Because uh, the, the instruction given was strict. Apostle Ken said, do this and do not tamper with it. And that was it. So that was the genesis. That was the genesis. I'm saying this without fear of evil. I'm saying this as a matter of truth and fact. Okay? At least I have uh, two witnesses that witnessed the first time he told me this. And these are two ladies. Okay? So, like I said, anything I say in the grand ecosystem, I have, I have a backup. Yeah. Now, that is the genesis, and from there we started having frictions here, and, and that is just it. All right, this is uh, me, myself, and I, the electrifying one, the heat man. I am a Michael, straight up, no ice. You just felt it big time from admin, the legendary Ellis. On the hot seat today, today is Tuesday, 2nd of April, 2024. All right, uh, admin Ellis, the legendary one. Uh, he talked about, uh, Reverend Bagajuku talked about you, a line that uh, he never gave uh, Apostle Ken above 24 million, that you said he gave 24 million only, and he said he gave over 40 million. How do you uh, reconcile that, sir? Now, um, you see, uh, Reverend Support is a smart man. <laughs> He's very smart, and if, if you don't uh, know what you're doing, you get outsmarted. Uh, now, when he's, say, when he's saying that, he's actually true. He, he's actually speaking the truth in what he's saying. Okay. Why do I say this? The truth is that from the time he started to the time I broke up with him, he might have, I, I, I don't know the picture of all the monies he paid into Apostle Ken's account. I don't know. He might have paid more than that. But the voice note I made 
okay, the allegation, not, not actually an allegation, it, a fact was the 300,000 naira he demanded, if you could remember, I said what he paid, what I said in that voice note was exactly, this does not include the ones he has given before or after. I don't know if you get me. Yeah. So, but from his speech, he is including everything. But that's not what I meant. That's not what I said in that one note. Hello? No, yeah, I'm with you, sir. Okay. So, you know, he, he's very smart. Now, uh, if you remember when he made that voice note of paying 300,000 naira, he told them for everybody that has made that payment, they should send me the proof of payment. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I have all the proof of payment, uh, when I come stupidly and quote figures that I know nothing about, I obviously, no. obviously know. No, See, yeah. I studied statistics in school, and I know what figures are. Okay. okay? I know what figures are. We don't joke with figures. Yeah. So what I said in that voice note, I stand by every letter of it. Thank you. Straight up, no ice. You just solved that from admin, the intelligent Alice. He's uh, intelligently answering my question one after the other. This is still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. And uh, this is me, myself, and I, the electrifying one, the Heat Man. I am a Michael. All right, Admin Alice, let's shift away from the international community and that as well, Reverend Wagachi. You, you just uh, solved the problem when it comes to answering the question. What is, the, what is happening in the grants community with the latest uh, allegation against Ustus? I heard you, Vian. Can you elaborate on that, sir? You see, I'm, I'm an activist. And uh, when I see other activists being uh, dragged to the mud for something they did not do, it gets me irritated. Yeah, if it's something you did, of course you're a human being. You're 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 prone to err. Okay, to err is, is human. To forgive is divine. Yeah. You can err, and then they say this is what you've done. You, if you are remorseful enough, you say sorry, and life continues. But if you have not done this, and the people keep saying you've, you've done this, you've done this, and I know for sure that you did not do it, it irritates me. For a very long time, for a while now, I've not been out speaking, uh, you know, in yeah. the grant ecosystem. Everybody so knows. Does, yeah, I mentioned that in the voice which I released about uh, uh, um, uh, Ustas, yeah. Ustas, Ustas, yeah. yes. I, I decided to keep my cool. But... You know, the allegations that he was the one that wrote the petition against uh, Apostle Ken yeah, is a big fat lie. It's a big fat lie. And after Dawood was trying everything possible to exonerate himself, and people were not satisfied. And then I had to come up and say, no, this is a lie. This is a lie. And that's just the reason. No, no nothing attached to it. I called Apostle Dawood once, and I asked him, Ustas, how did this how did this happen? Did you write this petition? And he told me, he said, Adminelis, this is our fasting period. And I am swearing with the fasting I am I, I am having that I did not do it. And of course, I was born in Cardinal State. I grew up in Cardinal State. I, I hear I hear outside I have interacted with Muslims most of my life. And when you hear a Muslim say this, just go ahead and believe him. Now after making that voice note, I put up a post telling the Joyce Lovely of, of a lady uh, of whom I, I also know. You said I don't want to go into that area. I've come to discover who Joyce Lovely is. Okay. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Now, I made a post. I said, give me the proof. Okay? Snapshot, anything. Just give me, send the proof to everybody. Send it to Plasons. Let's. It's not just uh, you know accusing somebody. Send the proof. Let's see. Uh, well, I'm surprised that everywhere is quiet. She's quiet. I, I wanted her to speak up more so that if, if I enjoy it and I, I, I can't enjoy it again, then I'll tell everybody who she really is. And uh, you'll be surprised at what she'll hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is still the chat show powered by Heat Me Foundation. We got my man, my producer, John, the hot seat, the legendary admin Ellis. Uh, Admin Alice, I want to ask you this question based on what Usta said. Usta said that UAG doesn't have money and uh, Apostle Ken's name is never in any document. What is your take on that, sir? Well, um, you see, the much I know at every point in time is what I relate to the public. 
I cannot feel more than I know at every point in time. Uh, there are also times when, from all evidence I've seen, from all facts, which I wouldn't want to disclose because of some personal reasons, uh, the, I believed that Apostle Ken's name is on the document and there is money to dispose. But there was when it got to, it got to an extent where, uh, due to some reasons, I wasn't following up with events again as regards to the document, the money, the UAG, and stuff like that. And of course, all ground pressure group were at the forefront. They were just like the CIA, investigating, turning uh, all the tables around and looking for, you know, lost coin and everything, and yeah. sacking every nook and cranny of the information space. And, you know, because they were there, I, I just had to sort that out. Now, uh, I, I don't know the basis for Mr. Zawood saying that. Of course, he has the freedom to say what he says. I don't know his basis. So, if Mr. Zawood has said this, uh, I believe this question should uh, go to him. Let him clarify more on it. All Thank right. you. All right. Straight up. No ice. That was intelligently answered. Anyways, uh, the money they are talking about, there's this rumor that's flying that uh, uh, Ogram Pressure Group are the ones that source for this money that uh, UAG wanted to disburse. What is your take or what is your own take about it, sister? No, I, I won't say it's a rumor. I won't say it's a rumor because it came from Ogram Pressure Group in one of their uh, is it a chat room or one of their meetings. You okay. know, yeah, it came directly from them. Okay. So it's not a rumor, it's something that they have stated. Uh, I'm not part of the All Grand Pressure Group, but this is what they have said, that they facilitated this grant that is being, that is, uh, we are expecting the disbursement. So I, 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 will, I wouldn't say it's a rumor. All right. So straight, that's just it. And uh, is that a palliative, the way it's been circulated, or it grants itself? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> When I heard uh, what uh, our grand pressure group talked about, they said grant. Uh, if it is a palliative, well, I don't know. But whichever one it is, palliative, grant, uh, free money, that, <laughs> let, them, let it come. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> that, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously waiting for it. All right. That means uh, they, 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 they just said uh, even if it's palliative, just like what you said, it's better for us to get the money for us before we know what's up. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, this is still the chat show. I got my man, my protege on the hot seat today, the legendary admin Ellis. All right, admin Ellis, are you really sure they talked about? Okay, let me. Uh, they talked about this uh, uh, news that Apostle Ken is no more in the picture of this bus and the money. How true is that, sir? Who said that? Where's the news coming from? Let me in the in the grant ecosystem. That is Apostle <laughs> Ken has been yanked off. He has been removed from the bus and the police. You see, when you're in the ecosystem, yeah, yeah. you get a lot of news. And when you receive it, you receive the, the news, uh, you get to know which is real and which is a mirage. Uh, I'm not aware if anybody's name has been removed because there is there has never been any official communication to that effect. Uh, everybody is sitting in riddles and parables, and uh, until I get the interpretation, that is when I will I will I will say I will say it's true or not true. Uh, the the grand ecosystem, uh, <laughs> where you just have to in the grand ecosystem, you just have to stand like uh, uh, like a, a fowl that uh, just visited a new land. Okay, there is this adage in my in my uh, you know uh, community that says uh, when a fowl gets to a new territory that it has never been to before, mm -hmm. it stands on one leg mm -hmm. yeah. and it looks at every other mm -hmm. bird and sees they are standing on two legs before it brings back on the second second leg. So that is just my take on it. All right, straight up, no ice. You just saw that from the legendary admin Ellis. Uh, let me hit you with this question. There's a lot of uh, speculations. People are still uh, skeptical about the reality of the money. I know you're not part of the All Grand Pressure Group, but in your mind, what do you feel about this money? Is it authentic that people should put their hope on, or is another mirage that we'll see 
still in the game? Uh, I think I've answered this question more than 12 times today alone from different persons. From different persons. And this is what I have to say. I don't easily give up on my pursuit, except I see reasons to do so. Uh, from all my permutations, from all my personal investigation, which is personal to me anyway, uh, this is not the best time for me to give up. In fact, I am waiting for for anything. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I, I don't want to say something that everybody in the grant ecosystem uh, will hold hook, line, and sinker. Uh, I've done my own investigation, and I believe in what I believe in. Uh, they also can also do this and believe in whatsoever they believe in. Uh, because uh, of of recent, I've had so many people say, Adminelis, you said this and we followed you, and now nah, this is that, this, this is that. And it, it's becoming a problem to me. So I believe what I believe in. I am a Michael, you also believe what you believe in. Let everybody believe in what they believe in. All right, that was it straight up, no eyes from Admin, the legendary Alice. All right, Admin Alice, what is your take about the generality of the brand's community? the monetization in the grants community sir uh, my view about the grant community uh, i was telling a friend that uh, soon i'm going to write a book dedicated to this of the grant community you know the, the book will talk about the different characters we have in grant community and uh, how they have behaved thus far. The grand community is a mess. Yeah, it's a serious mess. Mm. In the sense that the people you look up to to uh, you know lead the way are the people that are messing around. I'm a Christian. Uh, of course you know Christianity is not a religion. Uh, but yeah, the way of life. Not just come. Yeah, it's just a way of life. Yeah. Uh, for those that take it as a religion, you can see what they have been doing. And these people that take it as a religion are the people with the big, big titles. Yeah, the apostles, apostles bishops, bishop, reverend, yeah. bishops, uh, <laughs> pastors, and you know what have you. Yeah. Now, this is not in any way to say that all the reverends, all the apostles and bishops, and all of them are the same. No. They are not. We have very few of them that are very, very faithful yeah. and Decent. true to mm -hmm. their words. Mm -hmm. Yes. But most 95% of them in the grand ecosystem now wash they be. <laughs> they be washed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now it has gotten to the to the extent that if I meet somebody and he introduces himself as pastor, maybe he says, I am pastor <laughs> this I if I get torn off. It, yeah, I have this invitation. It's better you introduce yourself and then in the course of me meeting you, then I can decide to ask, are you a pastor? Probably from the way you behave, then I can ask if you're a pastor. But coming to tell me this is, this is apostolate, no, 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 it's a turn off. Uh, every, every, everybody is looking for money in, in Nigeria and, you know, the fastest way to get the money is, you know, through the grant ecosystem. Yeah, you're right. Uh, even my my solo admins have all the vast means of getting the money. <laughs> okay. Now, admin Ellis, uh, I've also devised my own means of getting the money. Like somebody was accusing me in my platform that I have been collecting money from my from my from my uh, corporate, which is actually true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But what the person failed to uh, understand is. How, where these monies are being channeled to. Okay. Uh, well, that is not your question, so let me, not, let me not go there. So this is my general view about the grant ecosystem. It's a mess, I, I am a Michael. <laughs> it's a mess, a total mess. Yeah, yeah I concur to that fact, straight up, no eyes. You just felt that from the legendary one, Admin Ellis. Admin Ellis has been in the grant ecosystem for a long time, doing the job the way it needs to be done professionally. Uh, finally, uh, okay, let me hit you with two questions. Uh, what is your take on the ITV 
uh, press broadcast by Apostle Ken. Uh, well, uh, I will say this and I will say it once and loud. There, are, there were three men that spoke in that interview. Two of them lied totally. They lied totally. <laughs> One of them said the truth. Hmm. Yes. That's too bad. Two of them lied totally. And one of is just one that said the truth. Hmm. That 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 ITV stuff was a turn off for me. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Straight up no ice, you just saw that from the legendary admin Ellis. One thing I like about him is straightforward, just like what he said is the version of Ustus Dawood. Finally, sir. Admin Ellis, what is the advice to the masses or to the subscribers in the grants community? Uh, my sure. advice is, yeah. yeah, my advice is, uh, if anybody is asking you for money, uh, unless you have excess and it's flowing on the street, on your street, <laughs> then you can give. But if you're managing yourself, give no one no dime. Except, now, there are exceptions, actually. Uh, like what I wanted to say earlier, then I said, no, it's not part of the question. Now, this is where I want to bring it in. Mm -hmm. except, for, yeah, except for visionary uh, leaders that, you, that have sold a vision to you and you want to be part of the vision, just like uh, GID Multipurpose Cooperative Society is currently doing. Okay? GID Multipurpose Cooperative Society, every member, we are more than 750, uh, more than 750, and every member pays a minimum of 1,000 Naira per month. There are people that pay 50,000 per month. Some pay 20,000. And we've, we've realized more than 7 million Naira. And, of course, this, we started this from October last year. And, of course, the members can attest to what it is utilized as, as in where the, their monies are going into. So it's a, G, it's a vision, a GRB vision, and people that know key into it. And we are working slowly. Now, so except for these few exceptions, uh, we are, uh, some leaders have, uh, have some vision and you feel you want to be part of it. Any other person telling you to bring one Naira for grant, not just grant, to bring one Naira to maybe increase your, your, <laughs> your cluster or to put you in one big position or, or you know, make you a brother wrong. <laughs> wrong. Oh, I guess. That means uh, what you're trying to say in summary is uh, there is no money involved in a grant. Grants is totally free for anybody to apply, just like what uh, uh, this man is doing, uh, Tony Elimelu and others. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you very much. This is where we'll be calling it a wrap. You just felt it intelligently dissected by the intelligent one, the man with the wisdom. The man that is bold in the grants community, he is no other person than the legendary admin Ellis. Thank you very much for coming to the hot seat, sir. My pleasure. Thank you.